Presiding officer, this morning a damning report by the Royal College of Paediatric and Child Health has warned of the catastrophic consequences of this government's failure. In paediatrics alone, over 10,000 children are waiting for the medical care they need. 50% of them have been waiting for more than the legal 12 weeks. So how does the First Minister respond to one of the leading paediatric consultants in the country, Dr Mary Stark, who said, if you miss the right window to treat a child or wait too long, the consequences can be irreversible, and that this is a clear failure to prioritise the health and well-being of our children. First Minister. Uh, Presiding officer, uh, first and uh, foremost, uh, I would take the uh, report from the Royal College extremely uh, seriously uh, indeed, and of course we'll be examining uh, and are examining that report uh, in detail. Uh, as ever, of course, it is important for me to provide uh, some context of why we're seeing such high numbers uh, of young people, young children, uh, waiting. The undeniable reason for that significant increase is undoubtedly the global pandemic, hence why we've seen those uh, significant increases in paediatric waits right across the UK and England uh, and in Wales and, of course, here in Scotland too. Uh, Anna Sawar uh, is right, of course, and the Royal College are right uh, to raise the concerns around uh, this issue. So let me try to give some assurances that we are focusing on tackling uh, these far too long waits in paediatrics, uh, just as some, uh, by way of some examples. Uh, we know that there's two main paediatric specialities, paediatrics and paediatric surgery. If I take the data from April uh, 23 to the end of the calendar year, uh, December 23, the paediatric new outpatient list reduced by 21%, uh, weights over 52 weeks reduced by 12%, and we wait, uh, weights over 78 weeks reduced by 31%, and uh, weights over uh, two years were completely uh, eradicated. <clears throat> if I take the position over the, the two years, December 21 to December 2023, and look at paediatric surgery, the new outpatient list for paediatric surgery reduced by 35%, uh, weights of over 52%, reduced by 84%, uh, over 78 weeks reduced by 95%. The purpose of uh, 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 reiterating these statistics, and uh, we know that, of course, behind each of these statistics is a young child who's waiting and waiting uh, too long for surgery, is to show that there are improvements. We are moving in the right direction. Uh, what, of course, makes the recovery of the NHS uh, far more difficult is the fact that, of course, we are, uh, cut, uh, we are receiving cuts from our, the Conservatives on our budget. £500 million over two years, £1.3 billion in terms of uh, of uh, our capital. Uh, we are, of course, investing in our NHS despite those cuts. Uh, it would be helpful to know from Anna Sawa that if there is an incoming uh, Labour government, that they would immediately reverse those Conservative cuts because it impedes our ability in order to invest in the NHS's recovery, which, of course, is much needed for our children, our young people, as well as our adults, too.